Hey guys, welcome back. We are doing lesson 19 in phonics. So let's get started. I'm going to share my screen with you. All right, unit two, lesson 19. Our learning targets, I can identify nouns in See if I can move myself down. I cannot. In short phrases and sentences, I can complete my grammar assessment and I can reread stories from Gran to build my fluency. So, grammar, we've been learning about nouns. What's a noun? And I bet you told me it's a person, place, or thing, right? A noun is a part of speech that names a person, place, or thing. Great job, guys. So let's practice finding nouns in short phrases and sentences. So repeat after me, big dogs. Which word's the noun? Dogs, great. Yes, dog is a noun. Repeat after me, the silly boy. Which word's the noun? Boy is the noun. Awesome job. Repeat after me. A scary story. Which word's the noun? Story. Great job. Repeat after me. A large park. Which word is the noun? Park is the noun. Awesome job, guys. Repeat after me, the nice teacher. Which word is the noun? Teacher's the noun. Great job. Repeat after me, a good movie. Which word is the noun? Movie is the noun. Awesome. Repeat after me, the car is red. Which word is the noun? Car, awesome job guys, car is the noun. All right, so let's look at our worksheet 19.1 here. Okay, let me hide this bar here so we can, doesn't show up, all right. So make sure your name is on this, okay? And on this sheet, these are all nouns, okay? In each line, you're gonna have circle nouns that belong to a certain type of noun. The nouns are either gonna name a person, a place, or a thing, or they could be proper nouns. And there may be more than one answer on a line. So you really have to pay attention, okay? So, Let's look at the unnumbered example at the top. It's got Jack, Snake, Kite, Queen, and Snack. There's no number beside it. That's the example, okay? Now, what I want you to do is, I want you to find the nouns in that line that name a thing and circle them. What word? Out of those five words, name a thing. You're right. It should have been snake, snack, and kite. All right. Now, notice there were three answers there. That's okay. So now what we're going to do now is we're going to work through the remaining ones on this sheet. And I'm going to tell you the type of noun got to identify in each line, but I'm not going to tell you the answers this, okay? This is what you know. All right? So, number one, put your finger on number one, and I want you to read those nouns. Okay, read those nouns. And I want you to circle the nouns in line one 
that name a specific person. So on number one, I want you to circle the noun in line one that names a specific person. Good. Now let's look at number two. Read those nouns across. All right. Now, you are going to spell the noun in line two that name a thing. That name a thing. Now remember, there may you may have to circle more than one word, and that's okay. Number two, you're going to circle all the words that name a thing. Number three, find the number three and read those nouns going across. Okay, you are going to circle the nouns in line three that name a place, a place. And remember, you can circle more than one word. So line three, you're gonna circle the ones that name a place. Okay, put your finger on number four. Look at number four, read those nouns going across. I want you to circle the noun in line four are proper nouns, proper nouns. Okay, and number five, put your finger on number five. Read those nouns. Okay. I want you to circle the nouns in live line five that name a proper noun. Which nouns there name a proper noun? Great job. Okay. So let's go back to our slide. Okay. So we just grammar assessment. So now what we're going to do right now is we're going to reread a couple stories from Gran. Okay. So I have pulled up a few stories here that we are going to read. The first one is The Trip West. The Trip West. I have made plans to take a trip, says Gran. My pal Tex has a ranch in the West. It will be a lot of fun. Gran smiles, but Josh and Jen are sad. We will miss you, says Jen. What will we do here, says Josh. There they are. They're kind of sulking and moaning, aren't they? Because they're very sad. Well, says Gran, what if you kids came on the trip with me? Your mom and dad said I can take you with me if you would like. Yes, the kids yell. Take us with you. Take us with you. Want to go on a trip with your Gran like that? I think I would, that'd be a cool trip. Josh and Jen pack their bags 
they get into a cab with Gran, and then they get on a plane. There they are. Jen asked, why do you think she's asking that for? Do you think she was listening to that story that Grand told about fuzz and mail? I think so. Yes, says Grand. This will be a safe plane ride, not like the one Fuzz had with Mail. When the plane lands, Grand rents a van and drives the kids to a ranch. Tex is there to greet them. He is a big man with a big hat. He shakes hands with Josh and Jen, and then he hugs Gran. There's Tex. He's got a big white hat on and cowboy boots on, and he's shaking their hands. At the ranch, there is a mule with packs on his back and bales on his neck. That is Sam, says Tex. So what is Sam? He's a mule, isn't he? And he carries things on his back, but he's got what around his neck? Bells. He has all the camp in his pack. Will we get to camp? Asked Jen. Tex nods. Yep, he has your tent on his back. Josh and Jen run to Sam. They pet the mule. Sam shakes and his bells ring. The kids smile. And there's Sam with Josh and Jen. Here's our other story, Saved by the Bells. Josh, Jen, and Gran hike off to campsite with Sam the Mule. I will meet you there, Tex shells. When they get to the campsite, Josh hangs Sam's rope on a tree. The campsite is close to a cave. Gran and the kids peek in the cave. Drip, drip. The cave is damp and dim. No sun shines in the cave, so it's really dark, isn't it? There they are in the cave. They look scared, don't they? Look at their facial expressions. Josh, Jen, and Gran hike deep in the cave. Lost. They are a bit scared, but just then Sam's bells ring. Sam's bells help them get back to the campsite. When they get back, Jen hugs the mule and says, Sam, you and your bells saved us. And they're loving on Sam. Looks like they're giving him a treat too, don't they? All right, so let's go back here. All right, congratulations guys, you've completed unit two. And guess what that means? We'll see you in unit three. Our learning targets, I can identify nouns in short phrases and sentences. I can complete my grammar assessment and I can read stories from Grand to build my fluency. Let me escape. All right, guys, until next time, I'll be in unit three. Bye.